Extremely, um, you know, proud of, of the staff and, and uh, administration here. I mean, a lot of a lot of effort goes into signing a full class like this. Uh, we signed the bulk of it in December, you know, and I think that was a very good move uh, on our part. We were able to to kind of gobble up some really really good players. That um, you know, the longer they're out there, the more likely some some other schools can move in on them. But uh, you know, I, I think we addressed some some needs. Obviously, um, you know, we, we signed four quarterbacks. Two are on campus right now. Um, I, I think uh, the two that are on campus right now have a lot of stats that come with them. They they both were starters. Uh, one was a, a junior college player of the year two years ago. Uh, so they have true stats. They, they have been starters before. And then, uh, you know, the, the two high school guys we signed, I think, are very, very talented, had great careers at the high school level and excited to get them here this summer. But um, overall, extremely pleased with this class. I mean, what, what a difference a year makes. You know, a year ago, we, um, I think there was two guys signed mid-year prior to us getting here, and we signed, I think, four or five, and it was real quick visits in and out. This mid-year class, we got a chance to recruit them for months, spend a lot of time with their families. Uh, what was unique about this junior college class, uh, our players that we added to the roster mid-year is um, almost all of them's parents took the trip with them, visited. We got to spend the entire weekend with the families, um, not to mention the home visits. So we really got a chance to really dive in and get to know these young men and their families that we're bringing into the program. And I think they're great, great fits. Um, and, and, and we needed them, we needed those you know, 14 uh, junior college guys and the other transfers coming in at mid-year because, you know, when you look at our roster, we've, we've got some holes to fill, and I'm not talking necessarily from a talent level. I'm talking about we're going to have five seniors on our roster next year. Five, you know, and only three seniors that have played a significant amount. You know, so um, how, how, do you, how do you fix that, that gap right there? And, and, and we made the decision to go out there and sign a great uh, mid-year class right there, starting with some junior college players. Extremely. Extremely. I mean, uh, they're great players. We, we went toe to toe with some other, uh, you know, very good schools. Uh, we, we won our fair share of those battles and uh, we got some the right men in here. Um, I, I think these guys are going to be leaders. Um, they, they've got really good grades, which is a big plus. You know, so they're, they're coming in. They're already college students. They, they've, they've adapted to, you know, um, playing, uh, you know, college athletics at this level and going to school, being the full round student athlete that they've got to be. And um, I, they're going to fit in our culture great. And, and that's why we spent so much time and energy on recruiting these mid-year guys because we need them. You know, we're, we're a very young football team um, and um, they're, they're going to come in and th these guys are going to be the leader of the program. That we're, we're paid to win football games, but uh, I, I do believe more importantly, we're, we're paid to have a positive impact on young adults' lives, and that starts with teaching them the value of their education. I mean, we're, our snaps are numbered. You know, I don't care if you play 20 years in the in the league or not. You know, you, your your day is going to come to an end where you're not going to be playing football anymore, and you're going to have to lean back on that education in order to have a a, a um, successful you know career at some point. So. Um, you know, we, we preach that day in, day out. Are we perfect with it? No. Do we have our struggles with it? Yes. But um, I, I think our academic staff did a phenomenal job uh, with our academics during the, the season. And that's where it's hardest for the players, right? During the course of the season, that's where your academics slip sometimes. Um, but I, I think they did a phenomenal job. I think the coaches did a phenomenal job taking the time to bring the guys in and talk about their academics on a daily basis because we're human too. We'll, we'll kind of forget about that at times if I let them and uh, focus on the winning and practice schedule. But uh, we, we make a, a really good effort on making sure academics is first. I, th I think the times are changing, right? Are already changed. I mean, it's hard to say that to a young man um, when one, you've got an established program that's winning a lot, you know, and you're able to redshirt a lot of people. Uh, we're not at that juncture. Uh, but at the same time, the portal, you know, you're, you're going to have some guys coming in and might play early and two or three years later, they're gone and you got to fill that, that void right there. And that's why you th I think you got to have a great balance of, you know, s some, some junior college, maybe a few portal transfer guys, but a great balance of, of signing a, a good high school class because those guys are going to be able to come in here and compete. We need them to. Um, I wouldn't be shocked if a couple do end up starting or, or have a, a very important role. Um, and, and we sold that to some of these guys. Like, look, we, we need you right now to come in and compete. You know, we're, you look at the receivers, we took seven receivers. You know, we, there, there's no secret, we did not perform well enough at that position last year to win a lot of football games. So uh, we went out there and found some size and some playmakers, and those guys are expected to come in here and compete day one. And we, we needed DBs, right? Um, you know, so we, we, we signed six guys, um, you know, four of those guys being junior college players that have played a lot of ball. 
Um, we're in the playoffs in the Junior College League over there. Um, have won some state championships. So, um, you know, they're, they're guys we feel like that, that will come in and, and be the player Tyler Barnes was, uh, potentially e even better maybe. Uh, Enos, you know, Lewis, another player that was a really good player for us that we lost. So we, we feel like that we got some players coming here and, and, and you know, step in their, their role and be very, very good at it. Um, but, you know, we're in a hotbed of recruiting. You know, the, the, it, it, when, when you look at our roster and we didn't have very many junior college players on our roster, like, you know, why, you know? And um, if, if you look around the conference, there, there's a lot of people waiting on the portal. And, and I get it, that, that might be the ticket to a, a, a quick winning season, but can you sustain that, you know? And um, we've had our fair shares of portals too, and some have panned out and some haven't panned out. Um, I, I just I kind of hedged on let, let's go get the best junior college players we can get because we're going to have them for multiple years. Um, we'll be able to evaluate them, recruit them for months rather than here comes a name across the portal that's leaving school A looking for a new home. All right, now why? You know, uh, is he not playing there? Is, uh, did they ask him to leave? Are we going to get a chance to meet the family? The high school coach, the other school's coach is going to tell us good things to get them on another roster. I mean, so just a lot that goes into that that um, – you're, you're going to get some great players, you know, but you can also get burnt as well, you know. So um, for us to level out our roster, you know, we only had seven juniors on our roster prior to getting these mid-years. So you think about that. We had five seniors. We got five seniors and only had seven juniors. So um, we had to go this route. You know, I, I kind of made this comment to the staff halfway through the season. Like, you know, obviously we, we, we've got to correct this position. Um, I wanted guys who have stats. I, I, I wanted some guys who have been, they, they have played at the collegiate level. If we're going to take a transfer, they have stats. We, we can watch a ton of film. Not, um, not, not somebody that's looking for their opportunity to prove themselves at, at this level. Um, you know, and, you know, we, we, we had a lot of time to go out and recruit, you know, and, and uh, we just didn't a year ago uh, for obvious reasons. And, you know, we, we, um, we pulled the trigger real fast and, and got a transfer here last year after about a week. Didn't have a, really a choice. Um, and, and then we, we, we got another guy, you know, right before summer, you know. Um, but the difference is these two guys that we took out of the portal, we, uh, one of my coaches had a prior relationship to one of them, um, and he was a starter and player of the year. And then the other one uh, was an all-conference player and has stats. You know, um, and, and both have proven to be starters of a program and been very effective doing it. So uh, I think that's the biggest difference maybe between right now and a year ago of, of what we were recruiting. Um, and, and then we, we didn't have time to, to sign any high school quarterbacks a year ago. And that sounds crazy too, but everybody wants a great quarterback. And I can promise you, you're not going to move in on a quarterback that somebody else has been recruiting for two or three months and say, hey, you should sign with us. We're looking for a quarterback. You've got to do your due diligence. Um, these two young men that we got that, that are the freshmen, I'm, I'm ecstatic about. I mean, both of them, big physical guys that can run. Uh, both, uh, one had 36 touchdowns last year. The other one had 35 touchdowns last year. Uh, both were in the 60s completion percentage. Both were uh, you know, you know, honorable mention or all state selection. So extremely excited about these two young men coming in here. And um, one of these guys is the future of the program. They're going to have to all battle it out, and that's our job to figure it out and put them in those situations. But um, I, I'm very, very confident in our quarterback situation as of right now. You know, you, you can't sign 15 guys that just have one year left, and you're right back in the same situation next year. You know, and, and we're, we're trying to build a program and we're trying to have our classes that are somewhat level. You know, you, you got 15 on scholarship here, 15 on scholarship here. So it's not you got five seniors this year and then next year you got 35 juniors, you know, and you're going to lose all them. So um, I, I'd like to level out our, our classes a little bit uh, so we're, we're, we can sustain, you know, a, a program. But um, I wouldn't say not necessarily against it. It's just where we are in our, in our numbers with our upperclassmen. We needed some guys that, that are going to be able to play for a couple of years, and that's why we went the junior college route. And, and I'll say this, you know, we got to spend a lot more time with these junior college players, their coaches, and their families that you just don't get to do that with some of these portal guys, you know. And, um, you know, I, I think it's a really good fit for us. They're right here in our backyard. We oversigned the quarterback. we got to, we got to fix that. You know, we got to fix that. And uh, we took more receivers. You know, we, we got some receivers down the stretch that um, had a lot of different choices and committed to us that I just wasn't going to say no to. And those two areas right there 
we must be better at to run our offense. Um, and, and again, from day one, I told the staff, the most our scholarships are split, split offense and defense. I said, however, the one trump card will be the quarterback position, and I don't care how mad anybody gets at me, I'll sign 12 quarterbacks to make sure we get our quarterback, you know. So, um, yeah, I mean, we, we do have one one corner spot kind of sitting out there that we got the, the luxury to, if the right guy comes along, yes, or maybe it's a linebacker, or maybe it's a D lineman. Um, but, you know, we, we got a lot of true freshmen that played a little bit last year and were still were redshirted um, that we hope in this offseason, moving into next year, is going to step into some starting roles. Look, we signed them for a reason, right? Um, and, and we brought them in here at mid-year for a reason. Yes, they, they both are going to get every opportunity to showcase their talents. And, you know, again, at that position, it's such a rep position. Like, you, you can't go out there and, and run a couple of plays and then, hey, I've had a pretty good practice and I'm picking things up. Like, our quarterback has to be trained an extension of the coach on the field. You know, I, I want – our quarterback to have the confidence and the freedom to, if we've called a play, to put us in a better play if, if he sees it that way. You know, um, and, and we didn't have that last year. And, and with playing four quarterbacks, there was no consistency. There was no continuity between the receivers and the running backs. As we're going through watching our cutups, you can just tell that because of the quarterback change so much that just things weren't smooth in other areas. So um, I've got to find the right guy, and I, I hope to have that coming out of spring to have an idea. Um, but even in summer camp, these two these two high school guys are, are they're good players. I'm gonna tell you right now, they are good players and very very smart. So I'm hoping we have a, a fierce battle on our hands at that position, um, and it's gonna come down to us just being very nitpicky on who we're gonna name the starter. You know, but um, they, they got different talents, and um, I, I think the the two mid year guys have some different qualities. And then I think the high school guys almost are exactly like the two mid-year guys. They both have some different qualities about them, but all four of them are leaders. Um, all four of them have leadership qualities. They're not scared to speak up, but they're doing it the right way. They're not, you know, coming in here and, and acting like they're the new sheriff in town. You know, they're earning the team's trust right now. Um, you know, so I, I, we're excited about it. And we, we've already picked up on a few things like that's pretty impressive. It's impressive that <clears throat> he has gone out of his way to contact a teammate that he, he knows could be late and make sure he's here on time you know so there's there's some things behind the scenes that you're kind of like uh, that's nice you know that that's that's what a leader does it's like you know last year was such a, a whirlwind and felt like we were just calling hey hey would, would you like to visit us I mean, we'd love to have you out here and, and everybody's ah oh, coach already kind of got my schools and this year it's been a lot more coach i'd love to come there and visit and um I, again I, I really the coaches do a great job of being personable um kind of letting them peek behind the curtain into our program. Um, I, our administration has been great with these recruits in the entire process. And, you know, I, I think uh, McNeese and Lake Charles kind of speak for themselves. I really believe when families get here and they see, you know, that we are a sleeping giant, they're, 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 there's going to be great things happen here. And, and they see Lake Charles and we kind of get to, you know, parade them around town a little bit. I, I think they see that this is different. This is different than a lot of other places that we visited. Um, you know, so we, I, I, I think we do a great job with the personal touch, you know, and um, we're, we're, um, we're excited about having this time to recruit that we didn't have a year ago. <laughs> How much do you